Hi everybody, my name is Ken Shravastava and today I'm going to be talking to you about my project, Music Genre Classification, and more specifically predicting song genres using raw audio via deep learning. So a little bit about my workflow. Uh, first, I had to start by restructuring the directories that I was storing my audio files in because I needed a way to feasibly access them via Python scripts. And so I first started by converting the audio into MEL spectrograms, which are images depicting the audio, which my model would then be able to use to process and train my deep learning models. Um, and then later on in the process through iteration, I found that I wanted to convert my images to one dimensional data so that it would be able to process a lot more of that information more quickly. Then we go in, I went into some EDA, just looking over the metadata associated with each of those audio tracks. And I transitioned my data eventually to AWS when I wanted to train and test my uh, deep learning models. Again, doing modeling and finally deploying the best final model on a web app using Flask and Heroku and Plotly. So now uh, a little bit more about the data set. So Free Music Archive is a really popular data set used in music information retrieval. And um, I took their smallest data set, which is comprised of 8,000 songs. They're each trimmed into nice 30 second clips that are easy to work with. And they're across these eight balanced genres listed here. Um, the metadata associated with all the tracks, i.e. like the genre, uh, the date the song was created, um, the composers, et cetera. It had a lot of information in the metadata, but it was quite sparse. So it didn't give me too much to work with, as you'll see here. In my EDA, I'd say the biggest takeaway that I was able to gain or the, the biggest insight I was able to gain from the metadata was looking at the tracks per year per genre. And so what this graph is depicting, it's a little bit noisy, but the main point is that you can see that across all of the years, most of the genres have a similar number of songs from each year, ranging from 2008 to 2016, barring the uh, bit, bit of an outlier where instrumental had a lot of its songs pulled particularly from 2015. But besides that, this shows that the data set's fairly robust. It pulls from a wide range, like spanning almost a decade, and it's fairly evenly distributed. So the hope with this is that the data will be more robust, uh, allowing the model to better process uh, newer music and be less susceptible to uh, short time trends in genres. Coming to the modeling, uh, this is the model, the overview of the model architecture for the final best performing model. It was a CNN LSTM hybrid. And so not pictured here, but um, I did use batch normalization, uh, max pooling and some regularization as well as dropout between all of the separate layers to minimize overfitting. But the main structure is comprised of three convolutional layers that will hopefully identify different uh, smaller musical features, musical elements in the song that will then be passed over to this LSTM, which can identify longer temporal trends in the music, such as rhythm, beat, cadence, which would then inform its decision on what type of genre the song belongs to. Um, Coming to modeling performance, um, we had a baseline of about 12 and a half percent. That makes sense considering we are picking essentially at random for our baseline from eight different genres. So one out of eight, 12 and a half adds up. Um, our final best performing model, the CNN LSTM was able to reach a, an accuracy of 49.3% on the validation set, which is a 37% improvement roughly from the baseline. So pretty substantial gains. Uh, after iterating and training. Uh, also worth noting, accuracy was chosen as my main metric of choice because here, irrespective of which genre it is, we're just interested in guessing genres correctly. We're not as fixated on which particular genres it guessed better and we want all of, we wanted to predict all genres equally well. Um, finally, um, I'm working on employing a web app to be able to use this model. And so here we'd have like an upload button and once you upload a new piece of audio, what you'll get is a radar chart depicting what the model predicts is the most likely genre that it thinks it belongs to. And if it's a little bit more confused, you can see where the distributions of where it assigned those probabilities are. So for this example case, it's very much likely that it's a folk song, maybe potentially some rock influence in it as well. Um, and I think that should be all. If you have any questions, I'd love to hear it. And since this is a presentation video, maybe there won't be any, but thank you for watching.